y'all it's queen i am back today with my next video this video is going to be all about travel nurse housing so we all jump into travel nursing because we see all the money you can make all of the opportunity the experiences but what a lot of people don't talk about is the housing associated with it so this video is going to give you a lot of tips and tricks on how to save the most money and find affordable luxury housing um, as well as different housing options that you may have as a travel nurse so if you are not subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe below like this video share do all that good stuff we're gonna get into this video so travel nursing 101 so from my experience my experience was very ghetto 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 like on my first assignment i moved probably like three times second assignment like three times so in this span over six months i moved a total of about five times it was so ghetto but luckily i'm gonna help you all learn from my mistakes just to give you all an overview of the video the video is going to be pretty much tips and tricks on travel nurse housing i'm going to provide search engines as well as mistakes that i've made um, solutions to those problems my experiences different pages to follow just to get those insights on different places and it's going to be a whole slew of things i'm also going to give you all an apartment tour of my beautiful apartment it's so nice i am currently in chicago right now on a quick crisis assignment so i'll be here for about two months luckily for thanksgiving at least for one of the holidays because that was my biggest concern so i'll be here until about december um in the cold but this is my hometown so i'm super excited to be on an assignment here as so, a travel nurse we know that you know most of our money comes from our house stipend, right because it's not taxable so a lot of agencies push to you that they can find your housing. It's so convenient, it's so easy, blah, 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 all of that. Never, ever, ever, rule number one, never let the agency pick your housing. Just because they can literally put you anywhere. It can be close, it can be far, it can be nice, it can be <laughs> dirty, it can be many things. You wanna be in control of where you lay your head at, right? So with that being said, take the housing stipend, even though it may be more of a hassle, you need to find your own travel nurse housing. So next, what I did when I first became a travel nurse, I followed this network on Facebook it's called Gypsy Nursing. Um, it's very informative. It's pretty much just a network of travel nurses all over the world, giving their tips, reviews, different forms of information, basically to help different travel nurses transition easier into travel nursing. You can post things on there, you can read things, you can post, and literally get so much information. It seems so simple, but also, you know, the travel nurses that you follow on social media, if you're looking to travel somewhere, whether it's California, DC, Chicago, anywhere, you know, slide in their DMs, ask them, hey, how did you find your travel nurse housing? A lot of people reach out to me asking me that, and I'm more in to give in insight on how I found my travel nurse housing, just because I know it was so hard to find. Next, I would say use YouTube. So just as well, as you're right here, you're watching this video, and I'm giving you all the inside, all the ins and outs of travel nurse housing. Utilize YouTube, use this as a resource. Me personally, before I started travel nursing, I did not use YouTube as a resource for whatever reason. I pretty much use social media, but just not YouTube. But as I'm giving information, I'm dropping gems, like doing all this, many other nurses out here that's basically doing the same thing. So utilize this, um, you know, comment, ask them questions. They're probably given more information than what I have to give. I've only been doing travel nursing for two years. So continue to use YouTube, use Facebook, use Instagram. Social media is literally the millennial way. And I advise anybody that's probably trying to try travel nursing to use that, utilize that, network, communicate, do all of that. Okay, to give you all a quick background of my experience with travel nurse housing. So I started travel nursing back in October of 2018. For the most part, I started my first assignment in Chicago. I stayed with my mom for about six months for my first assignment because I extended once. And overall, it was the best experience ever. If you're starting off for your first travel assignment, stay with someone you know, pocket the house and stipend. Second assignment, it was outside of Illinois, so I stayed with a friend, my best friend, um, and stayed with her and I paid her rent. And for the most part, it was an experience in itself as well. So advise any new travel nurse, stay with someone you know and try to pocket as much housing stipend as you can. If you can't, then that's it. 
So now we're gonna get into the good stuff and we're gonna talk about the search engines that I use to find travel nurse housing. So overall, I travel with two people, my twin and my sorority sister. And overall, we most of the time look for a three bedroom, right? So it was pretty much harder to find. A lot of these websites have a lot of one bedrooms, two bedrooms, rooms in itself. So you all will benefit from knowing all of these search engine and you can use it to your discretion. So I have my little notebook that I'm using to provide the most information and help you all avoid the run-ins that I had to run into. So overall, your first thing you need to think about is what is your goal within this assignment? Are you looking for location? Are you looking for scenery to be near a gym? Are you looking for amenities? Are you looking for a pool? Are you looking to just make money? You don't care about where you lay your head. You just want to be safe and you just, you know, get into your coins. That's it. You need to think about that when you're looking for your housing because that's going to make a difference. It's all individual based, but these websites and these search engines are so bomb. You can literally filter through each one according to what your preference is. So I'm going to literally list them one by one. The ones that I have used, I'm going to give reviews and kind of go from there. So we're going to start off with the norm, the millennial way. Of course, everybody's first go to is Airbnb. Airbnb and VRBO. Those are, you know, what we use for vacations. And for the most part, they do have long-term stay. They have all of that good stuff. So when I first started travel nursing, that was my go-to. But I found a beautiful home that I love so much. It was a three-bedroom, it was a town home, it was near everything. And I'm like, okay, yeah, we're gonna do this. Once we actually added up the fees, including the Airbnb fees and all of that, it was an outrageous price to the point I was like, what the hell? No, we're not doing this. So my sister thought about it and she contacted the actual housing company itself, which is what we're gonna get into. You know, Airbnb is an amazing site and I do recommend Airbnb for vacation homes and all of that good stuff, but when it comes to long-term stay, I would not recommend Airbnb just because you run into that Airbnb fee, you run into the cleaning fee, and it's a whole bunch of other fees that literally add up to thousands of dollars that you could avoid just by finding that same housing property on another website. So um, if you're staying for like a month or something, I would say do Airbnb, but if you're staying like 13 weeks, I would not. VRBO is also very, um, you know, millennial, millennial-ish, I guess you would say. I don't know if that's a word, I don't know. But it's very known. And I search, you know, homes on VRBO, but overall I haven't personally used it before, but they do have a lot of fees associated as well. So that's where we're gonna get into the slew of the whole other side of corporate housing and just, you know, search engines for housing. My favorite search engine for housing Although they were very unprofessional and very just kind of rude, they were very accommodating when it all came down to it. It's a company called Zeus, Z-E-U-S. Um, they have housing all over the world. They mainly house the DMV area and that's where I was staying for a whole year. So we use Zeus probably for a good like six months. Um, they let you, you know, view the apartment. They have photos online. They're very affordable. If you book closer to the date that you actually want to book, um, the prices go goes up and down daily, just like any other site. And then if you don't know if you're gonna stay past a certain amount, you can protect your dates. It is an additional charge, but it's very affordable. The houses are luxury. They're pretty much corporate housing. Overall, it was a great experience with them. Like I said, they are a little rude. You have to like kind of like stand your ground with them, but they accommodated us for all of like the inconveniences that we had and things of that nature. So I definitely will give Zeus a good like four out of five. Okay, so since we're talking about like corporate housing, luxury apartments, another search engine is called Hello Landing. Um, if you search that on Google, it's gonna come up. And pretty much you can search luxury housing across the world and they have their prices. They're pretty much affordable too. I've never used them, so I can't review them, but that is one. Uh, we also have Blue Ground. That's another search engine that I've used before. They have a lot of homes in California. So if you're thinking about homes or staying or doing a contract in California for 13 weeks, I would recommend them just because they are affordable. Like I said, I've never used them either. So this is just like kind of by word of mouth. Um, next is Sonder. Sonder pretty much houses luxury homes. So I'm currently in the Sonder stay. 
is so nice. Like the building is so accommodating. The check-in process is so like easy to the point that I came right in. I was able to check in without even contacting the company. Um, overall, it is in a building. I do have the amenities associated with the building, such as the gym, the pool, um, the business area, and things of that nature. It's in Chicago, so it's pretty much like walking distance from all of the shops. It's on Michigan Avenue. So I definitely would recommend Saunders, and I don't know if it's because of COVID or what's going on, but they have 45% off right now of all their homes. So my home was supposed to be three times the amount that it is now. And we're saving like over probably like $7,000 on this house, well, apartment. So I definitely would recommend them. Okay, next, a lot of travel nurses swear by this website. But me personally, I'm not into like the homey home feel or just like, you know, apartments. Like if I'm gonna move somewhere, like I want it to be super nice. I want it to be like Florida Silver Windows. I wanna have amenities. I want to, you know, have the vibes, <laughs> period. So I don't know, I've used them probably like twice to actually search up, um, you know, apartments and stuff. And it wasn't giving me, it wasn't giving me what it was supposed to give. But I do know a lot of travel nurses use this website and it's called Furnish Finders. Um, basically, it's a slew of apartments and homes and rooms that you can basically search for and use. Um, all of the apartments and the houses, they're furnished completely with the amenities that you need, such as pots, pans, towels, all of that good stuff. Pretty much like an Airbnb stay, but you know, for a longer stay. Um, and it's called Furniture Finders. So if you're looking to look into that, you can just, you know, search on your own and see if it's to your liking and go from there. Okay, so another option for travel nurse housing is short-term leasing an apartment. So it's a lot of pros and cons when it comes to this. I recommend if you're staying for longer than 13 weeks to short-term lease an apartment just because it gives you more stability um, and it's more affordable when it all comes down to it. Now, is it convenient when it comes to paying for things? No, because where you book places like Zeus, Airbnb, Saunders, everything's included, including your utilities, your light, your water. When you go to short-term lease a place, you have to then basically pay for utilities separately. You have to pay for water separately. And it's just like a different, like different bills have to like come out in a month. And a lot of travel nurses don't like that because, you know, they have homes at home. So no one wants to deal with doing that when you're pretty much on a travel assignment. That's a lot. But if you do decide to short-term lease something for six months or, you know, 26 weeks, you can do that. And the way you do that is basically pretty much, you know, applying for the apartment like any other apartment get an apartment and in order to furnish the apartment you will use um, companies called court so c-o-r-t they are in most cities or you can use a-f-r furniture which is in most cities as well and they'll literally come put rental furniture into your apartment you have to just like select your floor plan and as well as like you know the bedding that you want um as well as the couch like just the aesthetics of what you want your apartment to look like and you have to pay that monthly too so you'll have to pay rent you'll have to pay furniture rental you have to pay utilities you have to pay water all of those things but ultimately when you add it all up it kind of does come out cheaper because i did that for six months but it's a hassle just especially if you have roommates you have to keep on like paying for different bills and stuff and it's just like an inconvenience it just takes away from the travel nurse experience in my opinion but if you're cool with that that's cool so renting an apartment short-term leasing is an option lastly if you are trying to just like get to the assignment you're trying to just get some money you're trying to lay your head down wake up keep it moving you can basically rent a room so like on the website that I was telling you about on Facebook, Gypsy Nursing, they post a lot about like room rentals. Like if somebody's in a certain area, you can basically just rent out a room in their house. It's kind of like an invasion of privacy to me. I would never do it, but a lot of people and a lot of travel nurses do do it. They room with people they've never met before. And it's so affordable, especially in California, just because it's so pricey out there. Um, if you're up to do that, you can rent a room. Like I said, stay with your family. That's a way to save some money or even stay in a hotel. That's like the amenities of a full apartment. But if you're just going and coming, that's an option. So you can kind of go from there. A lot of contracts such as like crisis assignments or like COVID assignments, they provide your housing. 
and that is the only time that I say take that housing from them because most of the time they're providing transportation too and if that's the case you're coming out on top now I'm gonna give you all a quick apartment tour of my apartment I love it it's so small so nice Florida the ceiling windows, the vibes, the vibes, the vibes. Like I'm geeking, like I can literally see the Willis Tower from my apartment. Like I'm literally like geeking for sure. But I'm gonna give you a quick apartment tour. It's not that big overall. So it'll probably take like literally a minute. Nothing really major, just to give you all a feel of like what you get from actually like looking through these search engines and you know, finding an apartment and just actually getting a good experience. So I'm not really sure how you do this whole apartment tour thing. Like, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be in the camera. I'm sure I'm not. But, you know, it's lightness everything. So I had to get it real quick. I'm going to do it from a travel nurse aspect, showing you all what you actually get from the actual search engines that you search on, such as the necessities that you need to live, as well as the aesthetics of the places and the websites that I've used. So go ahead I'm going to flip the camera and then I'm going to show you my little apartment okay, so this is literally walking into the apartment we have a room right here that I'll come back to here in a few overall it's pretty straightforward kind of small um this closet is full with like blankets and stuff like that you know the extra necessities that you need for your apartment then we're going to transition down we have our laundry room right here washer and dryer like i said pretty much just getting you equipped for the things that you need for your apartment um i'll come back to the restroom so this is the living room very nice when i was searching for my apartment i was more so looking for like florida ceiling windows overall just because i wanted the aesthetics i just wanted more so of that vibe so the living room is pretty much spacious we have our own tv over there, I think that's like a record player or something. Like, I don't know like what this is. Um, gee, it's a, gee, it's a record player. Well, yeah, so we have that. We have our adjustable touchscreen for like adjust like the heat and the air conditioner and stuff of that nature. So just to keep on walking through, we have the kitchen over here. Sorry, it's a little messy. And then once you actually get to the kitchen, things that are equipped in the kitchen are like utensils so we have like knives we have cups we have a microwave we have an oven i think down here we have like pots and pans and stuff yeah so like pots and pans things you'll need to like cook and stuff in the refrigerator too so now we're going to head on over to the rooms and i'm going to show you those so this is the first room all of the rooms come with like photos and pictures and stuff but we gonna have to switch it up a little bit add some culture to here because it's a little dry but this is just like one of the rooms we have an amazing view for the most part from this room you can literally see the willis tower right there it's so dope we have a closet nothing's in there now this is probably going to be either me or my sister's room we haven't decided yet she's out of town so i'm waiting for her to get back this is the first restroom comes with towels soap all of that good stuff that you pretty much need to live another little picture like i said we're going to add some culture up in here because it's a little um bland and then this is the room that i pretty much came into um it's a little junky i got my suitcases everywhere but Hold on, let me turn on the light. Okay, so this is one of the rooms and it's pretty much already interior decorated um, for the most part when it comes to like photos, lamps and all of that. So it's pretty much equipped to go. This is the other restroom. Got the shower, the mirror missed out on anything because this video is pretty much just like kind of put together because i felt like so many people was asking me about it um if you have any other questions that you all want to ask me you know you can slide in my dms you can comment below you can follow me on instagram at nurse queen underscore underscore and kind of just go from there for the most part